Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday to all of us. I'm so glad it's Friday. Okay, if you're new here, my name is Amanda. I also go by Keto Ginger. I've lost over 100 pounds eating a ketogenic diet. I am a mama of two wonderful sons, Lincoln and Levi. They're both on the autism spectrum, and I'm married to a super awesome husband named Dan. I am getting ready to go into BJ's Wholesale because I need some produce and what I am doing today is kind of cool. I am making a keto care package for a very, very, very old and dear friend of mine that is starting keto. A very long story short, I grew up in a very small neighborhood. I went to um, an elementary school where all of us kind of stayed together from kindergarten through fifth grade. Our very dearest friend, it was my brother's best friend growing up his name is Justin his mom Joanne is getting ready to start a low-carb diet so we're gonna send her a care package and I'm gonna show you guys what I put in it it's basically like here you're starting keto congratulations here's some stuff to get you on your journey and I'll probably throw a copy of the cookbook in there as well so let's go into BJ's and see what we can find I don't think I'm gonna shop you guys on there because everyone looks scared and masks in one way but we'll see if there's something cool I'll show you Let's go. Ooh. Yep. Dan absolutely loves these. And that's a good price for 36 pieces. They're also sweetened with stevia. Y'all, I'm gonna be honest, that was kind of a bust. Like, uh, we don't have a close Costco, and I know that Costco is where people find a bunch of keto snacks. I have a ton of stuff at home that I can throw together for her, but what I was hoping to find was like a big pack of the meat and cheese sticks and the little individual packs of like wisps or parm chips, something like that. So I guess I'm heading to Aldi and then we'll go home and we'll pack up a box for Miss Joanne. I have returned home. I've been so good about wearing my makeup the last couple of days. I'm looking at myself with no makeup on and I'm like, girlfriend, you look tired. So pardon me and my Friday face. And if you want to come for me about the dark circles, bring it on because I see them too. You guys, all the weirdos were at Aldi today. I mean that with as much love and respect as humanly possible, but if you've learned anything about me through our time together, you know that I am so friendly. I'm annoyingly friendly. I am the weirdo in the grocery store that if you make eye contact with me, I will chit chat about your purse or what, I don't know. I'm just that gal. Like that's who I am. I'm Florida friendly as I like to call it. It's like kind of Southern, but also really sarcastic. It's a thing. Anyway, um, there was this guy that was really irate and scary irate. Like I went to the back of the store and the reason he was mad, because of course I'm friends with all the Aldi folk, <laughs> was that he couldn't park his like Vespa scooter in the front of the store. Now, I'm not even going to go into details. You and I both know that's nothing to get seriously angry about. And he was yelling and carrying on in the store. I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my little girl Carly that works there. She's such a sweetheart. And I was like, um, did he accost you? Because he was he was crazy. So Friday and Aldi is bringing out the lunatics, I guess. Now I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to put in a care package for my friend, Mrs. Miller. I've known her since I was a little, little girl. And the fact that she's trying to get started and kind of take control of her health just really warms me in all the right spots. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to include in the care package to Mrs. Miller. I'm basically going through my pantry and sending her some odds and ends of extras that I have, like meal replacement shakes and things that I don't necessarily consume regularly once I'm in full-blown ketosis, which I am right now. So let's get, uh, let's get some stuff together. Oh, I'm also going to use my printer at home to print her out a copy of Fat Kid Keto, and I'm going to put that in there as well. I just want to clarify too, this video isn't sponsored. I am literally going through my pantry and sending Miss Joanne odds and ends and extras of things that I have. So none of this is brand specific. I'm going to show you what I'm putting in, but it'll be like, okay, your favorite meal replacement shake, etc. It doesn't have to be these brands. So just wanted to say that. 
I'm gonna Tetris this thing and put in as much as humanly possible. So I know that she is a meal replacement drink fan. That's one of the things that was appealing about keto for her. I had a ton of 310 shake mix on hand, but any meal replacement would be awesome if you're just starting out. It really is helpful not to have to think about every single meal that you're cooking and you know she's she's an older woman so she's probably not making these giant elaborate meals all the time so i've got some keto chow here these are just sample bags for her then i have some lolly's granola this is a keto friendly granola there's a zillion different brands that make stuff like this and i just i love them all honestly i've got a couple of Primal Noms Mug Cakes. These are amazing. This company has recently switched their name and their branding. They're now called Sweet Logic. Their packaging is absolutely stunning. So I have some of the old stuff on hand. I'm going to send that too. And then I've got some cheesy snack mix here from a company called Keto Farms, but it's basically just a little bit of a, uh, you know, uh, snacky cheese and some nuts mixed in. I'm going to send her a packet of my favorite vegetable noodles. These are the miracle noodles. So it's a shiitake, like a mushroom pasta. And then a couple of fat snacks. I've got a brownie bite and I have a lemon cookie. So I'm going to put that in there too. And let's see what else we can put in this box. Got some uh, flax crackers here. These are actually really good. I don't typically like stuff like this, but this brand was actually really good. They have a ton of fiber, uh, so I don't go crazy on these. The carb count is high if you let it get away from you, but a couple with a little bit of cream cheese and a pickle on them, super delicious. I'm also including a collagen supplement. I would love to send her uh, my favorite one, which is Preferred Elements, but this is what I have on hand. So I'm going to send her this Perfect Keto Salted Caramel Collagen. This is delicious if you guys have never tried it. And the uh, true salted caramel flavor is kind of hard to find. I decided I'm going to put these in another bag. She also lives in Florida, so I can't send anything that's going to melt, unfortunately, or I would also be including like some sugar-free chocolate chips and that sort of thing, but I'm going to write her a nice little note and tell her about some of the things that I'm not going to be able to fit in the box. I added a couple of different bars and some coconut chips. I'm going to print out my ebook. I'm going to put that inside. I'm going to write her a note and then I'm going to go bring this to the post office. It's a good keto starter kit, don't you think? I ended up having to go and get it printed at my little pack and ship place because my printer is saying it's out of memory. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know. The synopsis here is I basically just wanted to send her a box of reading material and easy replacements to just kind of get her excited about learning and delving into keto. So I ended up printing out my ebook. I went to the pack and ship store because my printer was doing something really weird and I just was impatient. I'm sending her what I consider to be the keto Bible. It's the keto answers book. This book is incredible. It simplifies everything and all of the questions that she's going to have for me are literally answered in that book. I'm also printing out some of my favorite online printables of things like beginner's grocery lists, keto food lists, kind of what I needed when I first started. And I think a lot of us sometimes need that little bit of a reminder. And if this helps kind of nudge her in the direction of health, I'm super happy to do it. I also bought a little composition book. I'm gonna write her a little, little love note and tell her hey and let her know if she has any questions to reach out to me. Like I said, Miss Miller is like family to me. Her son Justin has been my brother's best friend since we were little kids. He, um, we call each other brother and sister. We always have because he's been in my life for as long as I can remember. I just absolutely love him and his whole family. So I'm excited. I'm excited to send this out. I really hope that it gets her on the right track and gets her excited about starting some new, some new things and new recipes, new ways of doing old things. It really does make you feel better. I keep getting these comments that are like, wow, I used to watch you and 
you were really a bummer for a little while and you've been so much more filled with energy. Yeah, because I'm eating and drinking what I'm supposed to. I'm exercising the way that I'm supposed to. I'm taking care of myself and I feel freaking awesome. I look like this, but I feel really good. So I'm gonna write Miss Joanne's little note. I'll share you one last little glimpse into this box and then I'm gonna get it to the post office before they close. I got her this super cute little book so she can keep track of her questions and I wrote her a nice little note and explained some of the things that were in the box. So this is this is what we have, you guys. I always love these little things you can Google on the internet that kind of talk about, you know, grocery lists and it just gives people different ideas of what they should be looking at. So food lists, cookbooks, a really amazing book that answers questions in a simple way and all kinds of little odds and ends for Miss Joanne. I threw in these parm crisps because they're an amazing chip alternative as well. And then I also grabbed her some everything bagel seasoning because no keto care package is complete without it. That's it. I really hope that this was helpful for you guys. I'm sure those of you that have been doing keto for a while, if you've lost any amount of weight or you've just been really vocal about being a part of the keto community, people have questions. They want to know, how'd you do it? What's it like? Is it terrible? Is it amazing? People want to know. So continue to share the good word with everybody because if you know, you know. Eliminating sugar from your diet or eating as little as humanly possible is life-changing beyond measure. Keto is not about weight loss for me. It's about how it makes me feel. The weight loss is just a symptom for eating this way. Uh, a really good one, but still a symptom nonetheless. How I feel is my biggest motivator, and I really hope that this box helps to get Joanne on track to feeling her best too. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the love. I am very proud of myself that I uploaded almost every day this week. I can't promise that will always be the trend, but I'm really feeling it right now. You guys help me stay on track and help me stay super motivated. I love you all so much. Drink your water, sending hugs, non-social distance hugs. I'm hugging you tight. See you soon. God, I know I said bye, but real quick, I need to make you guys laugh. So I was not expecting anything from Amazon today because I have not ordered anything. I am saving my extra spending money for something that I really, really want. Anyway, guess who ordered something? Levi ordered an entire pack of sticker logos. I swear to God, I did not order this. This is logo stickers, and I know that because I see Instagram. I can't with this kid.